This is Cooking with the Kitchen Conciliary, and I'm Marnie Hall. And my name's Angelo Lutz, and we're coming to you from the J&A Culinary School here in South Philadelphia. And we're going to talk about South Philly comfort food. We're going to make peppers and eggs. And some people don't want to eat peppers, so we're going to make asparagus and eggs, too. Sounds good to me. Why don't you start by cutting up a pepper over here? This is something that they eat in the clubhouse. So the guys are playing gin or whatever. <laughs> How about adding the peppers to this? And then we're going to add a little bit of onion, which we already cut up over here. Okay. okay. And now we're going to put a little heat into it. We're going to put some long hot peppers. All right. Smells good, Angelo. Uh, of course it smells good. So we got our asparagus is, is sauteing, it's got to get a little soft. Mm -hmm. We got our peppers, onions, and a little bit of the long hots in there. We're going to add a little bit of butter. Why don't you start cracking some eggs? Mm -hmm. You got to break some eggs. Angela, look at all these eggs. I think I have like about a dozen here. It's, well, you know. Feed an army. Well, feed an army. Sometimes in the clubhouse you had to feed an army. Well, that's an army. Now here's the secret ingredient. We're going to put some Romano cheese. Oh, really? You gotta put the Romano cheese in there. Did everybody like that? Did it really matter? You got the pepper and egg sandwich. Really Be like grateful cheese. you were getting something. You're in the clubhouse. You're losing everything you got in your pocket. You're borrowing from somebody in the clubhouse. Keep... Borrowing? You're borrowing. With interest. It's like going to the casino. You go to the casino, you lose three, four thousand, and then you're all happy because you got this comp to go to the right. garden buffet for like $25, 30 dollars. Right. You know, I mean, So you get a pepper and egg sandwich. You lose your shirt, you get a pepper and egg sandwich. You lose your shirt, sometimes you lose your pants. Who knows? <laughs> Were you the cook for the clubhouse? You know, when I was around, I cooked. If I wasn't around, somebody else cooked. We never went hungry. What do you play? Gin? You play gin. You poker? play poker. You play ziganets, an Italian game that they play downtown in South Philly. I mean, it's a serious clubhouse. I mean, I don't know what it says outside, of, you know, on the front door. Okay, no, I don't think it says that. Members I, I, sign in. Here. I just think maybe it says like members only. Members you know, only. remember the jacket years ago? You'd go out like you know, members only. Somebody have the members only jacket on. Mm -hmm. Softball clubs. Softball, right? Right. Did you play softball? That's part of the club. Activities yeah. in this club. Activities. So you have cards, baseball, we softball, had baseball, right. cooking lessons. How much did your mom pay for that camp? <laughs> it's time for her now to add to the asparagus. All right, want to add some cheese to this? Is that enough? My, you know, I'm tired. It's every week. It's the same thing. Put the cheese in there. You want to just cook the eggs mm -hmm. so that the eggs and the peppers are the same texture. Are you hungry? Sure. I, I come here to eat. <laughs> why, do you think, why do you think I come here, Angela? Just to torture me for like nine, <laughs> ten minutes. So we're going to put this on a nice Italian roll, right? Oh, I got the best rolls. Where did you get the rolls? There's an old saying, like, you know, like, uh, an Italian always has a friend in the business. Stop. Oh, which business are you talking about? The business. Your business? What business? I'm I don't know. Business. I don't well, know. You said business, and it just reminded me of your business. Well, well like I business. said, we're moving along. Funny and business. How we got from Not roles business. to this business and funny business and whatever business she's talking about. Your business. My business. None of my business. Exactly. <laughs> you want to go to Karangi's Bakery. I mean, it's like the ultimate, ultimate Italian role. bread. The ultimate Italian bread. Now listen. See how good this sandwich looks? I bet you want to eat it right now. You ready to eat it? Yeah, you can. I'm ready. Yeah, absolutely. On. When you get the pepper and egg sandwich, you have to roll it up in tin foil, and you have to make it sit for 20 minutes. So now we have to we watch have to, we the have, foil packs. We have to watch the foil packs for 20 minutes before we can eat these sandwiches. And the reason being is the roll's always a little hard, but the heat of the egg and all the flavors, it's like everything's going to meld together. Can you not ask me any questions for 20 minutes? Sure. Okay, good. Well, let's just wait. <sighs> See how boring it is when I don't talk? <laughs> Serenity now. Morning, are you ready to eat this sandwich? I've been ready. Peppers and eggs, you ready? Mm hmm Alright. Mm. Now see how nice look. It's not real it's hard, second to none. If you like this recipe and you want to download it, you can go to www.kitchenconciliary.com and download the recipe. Till we meet again, my name is Angelo Lutz. I'm Marnie Hall. 
and thanks for joining us with Cooking with the Kitchen Consigliere.